Hello everyone, this is Amy at Hello Thrifty. Thank you so much for stopping by to check out my video. Um, today's silly shirt is a Kate Spade shirt that I got on Poshmark. It says extra spicy. My husband and I really love spicy food and I actually have a matching purse. I don't know if I should wear it together. The purse and the shirt, I mean they're very matchy matchy. It'd be a statement anyway. Anyway, this video is a haul from Plato's Closet. And the Plato's Closet in my hometown um, was having 70% off everything, not just clearance, everything. Because the store is closing temporarily and it's going to change ownership and reopen. So they're getting rid of all of their inventory. So um, I bought a lot of stuff. And uh, this could take a while, so I'll try not to talk too long about every single piece. Um, but I just have a huge pile of things over here. I haven't looked at it in like three days, so it's gonna be fun to look back on it for me. Um, I'm gonna have to organize this stuff into priority piles. Um, but let's just get started and see what I have here. Um, the first time thing I have is a Carlisle sweater and it is a cardigan. I'm seeing a little bit of a dark mark here now, uh, but it's not very obvious. Carlisle is a very expensive brand, but it's a little bit more mature brand. And the things I noticed like Eileen Fisher, Diane von Furstenberg, um, Carlisle, several of the things like that, um, they had priced very, very cheap in the first place on the more mature brands that are actually pretty valuable. They have been marked a lot cheaper than the mall brands. Um, so this thing, ended up costing me less than $2. Um, it's got a little mark on it, so I'll just have to have to see about that. Um, these are a pair of men's, I think, seersucker green striped summer shorts. They're Polo Ralph Lauren, and they're in great condition. They're a bigger size, and I don't think I'll have any problem selling those and making a little bit of profit on them. I can sell those soon because short season is coming. Okay. I got a lot of J. Crew cardigans. They were really inexpensive and in good condition. Um, I'll probably list this next uh, around fall. Just a J. Crew wool cardigan. Cardigan's a good staple piece for any working girl. Um, this is Out From Under by Urban Outfitters. It's kind of almost a waffle knit cardigan gray. I guess I hold them over here since there's plenty of space over there. And let's see. This is Free People and it's a cropped ruffle plaid shirt. That's so cute. Um, somebody might still buy it now if, if not. Um, hold off till fall but I'm going to list this now because I can still see somebody wearing this in the springtime. Um, especially with that cropped length. Have a ye little yellow button from Anthropology long sleeve t-shirt and that would be great for spring and that's pretty. Um, if anybody is watching this and is interested in anything um, I'll put my email address below and I'll be happy to sell to you via a PayPal invoice. Um, I'll try to say sizes now because I haven't been doing that. This is a small. It's not a teeny tiny small. Um, here's another J. Crew cardigan. And this one's wool also. And I like the ruffle on it. Kind of comes up in the middle there and almost looks like a crop, but then the sweater continues and then the ruffle goes all the way on the back. I really like that. It's kind of a rust color, a nickel. Okay, another J. Crew cardigan. We just hit that. They were all hanging together. So, um, and this one is a bright pink and it's an extra small, just a standard cardigan sweater. Okay, these are a pair of red, rich and skinny jeans. And they are a straight leg. They're, they might have a slight boot to them. Um, I've sold this brand before. I kind of thought twice about buying these, but um, I've sold them most of the times that I've listed them. I don't expect to make a whole lot off of these. Um, 
But, you know, one of those things that at some point I was just like, just let me get it. Okay, they said they had a lot more of these in the store. I'm gonna go back and they might even have like a stuff a bag or a 90% sale or something before they close. She said that she had quite a big quantity of these, but this is the only one I saw. Country music is in my soul and that's how I roll. So that's actually uh, new without tags. So that'll be a nice Poshmark item. Let's see. This is an altered state size large chambray dress. We'll get that listed soon. That'll be great for spring, maybe even Easter. Here we have a free people lace um, top here. It's not quite a peplum, but it's flared at the bottom. And it's got this big keyhole opening in the back and it'll need a tank top under it for sure but um, it's a nice fitted piece and it's looking like let's see there's not a, a size tag there let's see if there's one on the inside but you know how free people kind of oversizes their stuff Ugh, no size I hate buying things with no size um, so I'll put measurements and um, I'd say for a free people it's probably more like a medium or even a large, it wouldn't be a, my kind of large, but. Okay, um, here are some Lucky Brand jeans. And let's see, what made me decide to buy these? Because I don't pick up Lucky, oh, because they were only marked $5 in the first place and they were 70% off of that. So, what, like $1.50 or something? Um, and I like the pocket detail on the back. And um, they are a flare. They're a little bit, I think they're more of a flare than a boot. And I know some of that flares are coming back. Um, so I don't expect to get just a whole lot out of those, but I decided to go ahead and grab them for a dollar fifty. Okay, uh, this is a Foxcroft, and this was less than two dollars. Chambray, that'll be an eBay item. Um, these are actually pretty pricey and I've sold them before um, in the 20 to $30 range. And I like the embroidered detail on there. Embroidery is, is in. Uh, these are some Maurice's jeans. And let's see, they're a size 26 by 27. And they're a skinny leg. And I sell Maurice's jeans all the time. Um, and I sell them for about $15. So that's $10 in my pocket, right? Okay. This is pretty. And I just bought it because I liked it. Um, I'm not sure if the brand is worth anything. It's Cactus brand. Um, it's a pretty little denim chambray lace dress. It's got it at the bottom. That is so pretty, and that'll be great for spring and Easter. This is a free people, size small. Um, and this is actually, it's a floral kind of a burnout style marled on top of floral or floral on top of that. And then, you know, the design kind of, uh, oh yeah, it's got a little bit of a gather there. It's kind of an empire waist. Cute little boho top with a, a bell sleeve, kind of a understated bell sleeve there. So that's definitely worth buying. And it was only marked $5 in the first place too. So $1.50 for cute free people shirt. Yes, please. This one I debated on because I had to pay a little bit for it. They had it marked really high because um, I don't do great on Victoria's Secret pink most of the time. But this one is really nice. It's in great condition. Feels really good. Look at that on the back. Um, I feel like 
it's gonna be worth it. Might have to hold out for a minute. Okay. This one still has some of the tag and it is a Ralph Lauren, I think. It's a shirt dress. Yeah, it's a size medium. Floral, short sleeve, just easy peasy, throw it on and go floral dress. And that will get listed right away. Man, that's an awesome kind of thing to be able to just throw on one piece, throw on some flip flops, get out the door, your dress for the day, and you look cute. Let's see. Okay, this is um, Prabal Gurung for Target. And uh, I've seen the comps, and they're decent. I mean, they sell, not for just a whole lot. Um, but it's another shirt dress, and it's got a ruffle at the bottom, and I decided to, to pick that up. Kind of thought twice about this one, too, but I think it'll sell, and I think I'll make a little bit of money on it. Oh, my goodness. This is it. This is it. This is it. Could not believe this. I've never seen these in real life at all. Um, they were at Play-Doh's. Plato's had marked them $15. Apparently, they don't know. They're new with tags. They're flipping mother jeans, which is, you know, one of the, the few brands these days that sell for a lot. Um, wow. Let's see. And I wonder if it says like a style name. It says Mother Holy Rascal, and I haven't looked them up yet. Um, they're a size 29, so that's a really good size. Um, and they've got these, you know, they're, they might have thought, oh, these are torn up, but they're, they're made like this. They've got um, kind of the distress at the bottom, at the back of these. So when I saw these, it was one of those, I was like, oh, and I grabbed them, and I just like, yeah. But they had them marked $15. So I paid $4.50 for these. So I'm pumped about those. I'm going to set those aside, look these up, list them first. Um, some J brand denim shorts, distressed. That'll be great. Those were around $2. Let's see, oh, so see, I'm not telling you guys the size. Um, it's the cuffed short, and they're a size 29 also. Maybe it came from the same person who brought in the mother jeans. I wonder what they took for those. You know, if Plato put $15 on them, what did they pay the person who brought them in, and why did they accept that? I don't know. Um, this was just kind of a shot in the dark. Um, I think it could be fun for a costume or for a rockabilly kind of girl. This is going to be an eBay item. I can see somebody who is, you know, good with high fashion and putting things together, making this look cool. I mean, it, it's not a cool shirt, but I think somebody could make it look cool. It's a vintage Western kind of prairie girl shaped denim shirt with the ruffle. Um, man, I, I like that. Actually, I could even see like anthropology making something like this now. Um, so I'm like, okay, let me give that a shot. And this didn't have a price on it and the stuff that didn't have a tag on it, she was scanning it at $5 and then 70% off for $5. So $1.50 for the stuff that didn't have tags. Here is another new with tag item. Um, I liked this a lot and it looks like one of those Southern preppy brands. Um, you see how the shirt pocket is a little bit different detail than the rest of the shirt. It's kind of an accent pocket. And then the same thing on the collar. It's called 5-4. And I don't know. Uh, so Mark McNary. Mark McNary. It might just be a department store brand or it might be high end. I don't, I don't know, but I really like it. Um, and it was, you know, it was a good price. It's a size medium. So I'll look that up. I might be pleasantly surprised or my husband might have a cool new shirt. This is a Life is Good long sleeve tee and looks like it's got 
popsicles on it? Are they popsicles or are those like tops? Like the toys that you spin? Or I'm not really sure what that is. Art supplies? Um, anyway, I tend to sell Life is Good. It's a women's large and it's a v-neck long sleeve t-shirt it's really really nice condition um so probably be good if i find out what that graphic is before i list it here is a bowden dress and they don't think much of bowden apparently um they had this marked six bucks it's a nice little fitted kind of bodycon dress and it is a, it's a Bowdoin size. Okay, it's a US, it's a UK 10 and a US 6. So Bowdoin on their older pieces, the size is not gonna be correct as a US size because it is UK sizing. But on the newer pieces, well, not that new, but uh, relatively new, they actually put both sizes on there. So this one is a size six. It's a navy with white. Let's see, this is American Rag. It's size large. Um, it was only $1.50, so I went ahead and picked it up. I just like it. Um, I don't think it's necessarily a home run piece, but I think it's super pretty. And large is a good size. That was only March $6 in the first place anyway, so worth a shot. I really liked this one too. Um, and I'm, the brand I don't think is, is anything. Um, it's in cursive, I can't even read it. But I like the um, kind of a crochet type. And it's got this band around it there, kind of a um, Southwestern boho vibe. Um, and I like the colors. And it's got a black skirted bottom. But I just thought somebody would like that. This is another free people piece. It's a sleeveless blouse. And that is an extra small. Let's see. Still so much. <laughs> okay, where is the top on this thing? Sorry guys, don't want to keep you waiting with this boring stuff. Okay, this is a Zara knit sweater and it is a size small. And I like the ruffle detail on the side there, going down the sides all the way to the top. Isn't that pretty? It's very elegant and classy. So might not sell that until next season, but did not want to pass that up. Oh, this is just pretty, and they only had it marked $3. So this was $0.90. Cents. Um, it's not a brand. Um, it says it's a size large. And it's an embroidered, collared blouse. Isn't that pretty? I like that. I think this is new. Um, it didn't have a tag on it, but it, it, it looks new. Although... I think, um, I think I saw, yeah. It, oh, oh, okay. I can wash that. It's got a little crusty spot, but I think I can wash it off. So, it's cool. Oh, okay, this is sad. This is a Floriet from Anthropology, new with tags, size two dress. And it's super pretty of a three-quarter sleeve but it's got I, it's got this orange mark on the inside there and you, it, it bled through a little bit um, now I have the gun where I could reattach this if I take this off and wash it I could reattach it um, you know if it still seems to be in new condition um, but I just don't know I think that's marker so I don't know if I should just disclose that and sell it like it is or if I should try to wash it or maybe try to wash it without putting it in the wash. But 
Um, I had to get it. I mean, new with tags, anthropology, and let's see what I pay for it. <laughs> oh, it didn't have a tag. So, $5.70% off, $1.50. Okay, this is a Piper Lime collection. Now, you know, Piper Lime was um, around a couple of years ago, very high end, very expensive. I don't know how it does anymore, but when I saw that name brand, I knew that I needed to give it a try. It's a size small. It's kind of a mint green floral dress. Won't that be great for Easter? And um, yeah, I think I said it was a size small. They had that marked $10, so it was three bucks. Put that in my items of interest pile. Um, these shoes, Z Alexis, size 38. These are new. And I looked them up, and it looks like they have pretty good comps. That woven style. And this one's a slingback. And they're a size uh, 38, which is about an 8.5 and they cost me less than three dollars i love selling shoes especially when they're new or clean shoes um are probably my best seller on poshmark i love the shipping when it comes to shoes on poshmark this is a free people oversized they only had it marked six dollars in the first place um the size tag is cut out but i mean this would to be a, like a one size type situation i might try this on myself actually um but it's um cuffed at the bottom so your sleeves are going to kind of hang loose and it is a little bit shorter at the sides there and then the back that'll be a good seller if i don't keep it and usually when i say i might keep something i mean i have to love it to keep it so, we'll see. Okay. Oh, these are cool. These are a Zara Man. And they're a size 30. And they're button fly jeans. They're heavily distressed, factory distressed. With, like, these crazy studs underneath. They're an awesome condition i don't know that they've been worn um but yeah i really like those i should think they would sell i think if they were women's they would um i don't know i guess maybe the population of guys who wear stuff like that might be smaller but they're cool wasn't passing those up here is a dress by french connection it's one of the first things i grabbed when i got in the store um, I mean, it, again, this was $1.50. And I just like dresses. Dresses do pretty well for me, too. So a lot of dresses. Just a simple little pretty black and white short sleeve kind of shirt dress with a tie. These are some pretty cool Pumas. And they're in really nice condition. Those big old laces. I don't know that these have been worn at all. Um, and those are a size women, six and a half. These are J. Crew jeans. They're the slim, broken in boyfriend. And they're in very nice condition. Oh, they've got some distress on the knee. Good current trend. This is a Victoria's Secret sweater dress. It's a size extra large. It's a black sweater dress. With some shimmer, the fabric kind of shimmers. So that'll be nice. Might not list that right away. 
but I think that will sell when the season is upon us. I'm glad for the season to be gone, honestly. I, I don't like cold. I love spring. I love summer. Um, okay, Perfectly Imperfect. I don't know this brand, um, but it's 100% organic cotton and hand-dyed. It seemed like, like quality. It's another one of those, like, easy-peasy throw-on dresses, casual, um, kind of a, almost a space dye. And, uh... So I just, I just had to give it a try. Um, it was $1.50. Pretty sure somebody will pay me more than $1.50 for it. Um, true Religion. I pass up True Religion a lot now. I have not had luck selling them. I think I sold two pair ever. Um, but these are skinny. So they are much more current in their style. So I decided to give those a try. And they're a size 27. And they look to be authentic as well. I have come across some pretty obvious fakes. Okay, this is a Nukes new with tag legging. And they were, it says MSRP $67 on there. Look at these, oh man, I'm gonna take these back. Get them to take this dang sensor off unless I can get my husband to do it with some tools. Bummer. Oh well, I wanted to go back anyway. Um, kind of a cropped legging with a little gather. I'll set those aside and put them in my car so I will have them next time I am close by. I got some Miss Me jeans. A lot of their Miss Me's were priced a lot more than I wanted to pay, even at 70% off. These didn't have a tag, so she gave them to me for five bucks and then 70% off. Um, plus, I like the style on these better than some of the other ones. That is a skinny leg. I actually do have luck selling Miss Me. I think a lot of people don't because they want a lot for them. Um, I'm realistic. I don't pay more than a couple dollars for them, but when I find them for under five dollars, I buy them, and I usually sell them for around twenty-five bucks. Um, I'm happy with that. This is a twenty-five, so a smaller size, but a good buy. Um, these are some sandals that I'm just gonna keep. They're not a brand or anything, but they were brand new, and I will wear those this summer. And I paid 70% off of $6 for those. So over $1.50, but under two bucks. Excuse the crinkle of the bag. Um, this is a Nike shirt. And I just, I'm gonna wanna look this, this up. I know some Nike shirts can do really well and most don't. Um, I haven't had a lot of luck selling Nike graphics, but um, I'm, this is, no, it's it's interesting looking. So I decided to give it a shot. Wish me luck. It's a size medium. I'm assuming a men's medium. And I didn't pay much for it either. So gave that a go. This is an anthropology dress. It's Fee or Fay. I've bought this brand before. I had one thing that I bought and sold very quickly. I had another thing that I bought and still have not sold and have had for quite some time. But it's a size six, kind of corduroy shirt dress. It's un unbuttoned there, but it's gathered in the back. Um, make it nice and flattering. And it's uh, three quarter sleeves rolled. So I thought I'd give that a try. I don't find anthropology quite as much as some people do because we just don't have one around here. Um, yeah, I say that, but my last couple of hauls have had a lot of anthropology in it, so I guess people are shopping online or out of town. Um, this is a J. Crew dress. It's a size 10, and it's just a solid purple. And it has kind of a satin tie. So it'll look cute when it gets on my mannequin. That's a nice condition. Or 
already at a half an hour. Bless you if you are still watching. Here's another free people piece. It's a size medium. And I assume not warm because it's still got the extra button attached to the tag. And I guess this is a dress or a tunic. It's kind of thing that I will wear with leggings under it. Uh, but definitely some people with some cute legs can get by with wearing that. It's got a pretty little short bell sleeve. Semi sheer. And it, um, it does have a tie in the back, but it's not like attached. It's actually woven inside of there. And then you can pull it there to help it fit. I just thought this was cool. The brand is Aqua Leaf, which I, it's probably nothing, but it's like little tennis shoes and, and it has a lace that's actually three dimensional. And I just thought it was stinking cool. And it was like a dollar and some change. Okay, this is a Bowden shirt. It's just a little floral short sleeve Bowden t-shirt and it's pretty small. I don't see the size on the tag right now, so it might be on the other side, but I'll definitely label that a small. This is a Judith March and it's got a mark on it and it also has a hole where I asked her to, um, the girl who's checking me out, I asked her to take the, the security tag off and show me if there was a hole left. And there is, it's not super significant, but it's, it's there. And this is a stretchy fabric. Um, so anyway, she just said, take it, just take it. So she gave it to me for free. Um, it's got the cool tassels at the bottom an asymmetrical hem. And it says trophy wife, cute, right? And I actually could wear this myself. My husband has a shirt that says trophy husband. So <laughs> we could look cute wearing those together. Okay, I think this is a very good find. I haven't looked it up, so I don't know. I know it's a very, very expensive designer brand. Speaking of designer, I was looking at yard sales today. This is a side tangent. I was looking at yard sales today, and the things that people call designer clothes are laughable. And also, they're like, don't expect my designer pieces to be two and three dollars. And they're talking about like Ann Taylor. I'm like, girl. <laughs> anyway, this is a machino. Um, and it is a made in Italy machino um, blazer. And it's got like two toned plaid going on. And I think I might be able to do really well on that, but I have not looked it up yet. Um, and I'm gonna have to look up all of these other words and you know, I don't know if that's like a sub brand or whatever. Um, and then I guess the store maybe it was purchased at. Um, and I don't see a size right this moment. So that stinks. Um, guess I'll have to put the measurements in, but that might've been a really good buy. Paid six dollars for that. That's you know that's paying up. Um, these shoes are pretty cool. They're Nine West sneaker. Kind of a lace up, like almost ballerina style, and there's you know nothing in there, so your foot's gonna throw show through there. Those are cute, little red laces and a navy and gray, and um, these are a size seven. And they had them marked at eight, so I got them 70% off of eight dollars. This is a Judith March, and it is a maxi dress, but it's um it's actually a short dress underneath, like a lined, stretchy mini dress, and then it has the long sheer over it, and that's in the back. I know this was a big style about two years ago, so it might not be all that on trend right now, but then again, I'm seeing a lot of people wearing kimonos, and this is kind of 
kind of reminiscent of a kimono. It's just attached as a dress. So I'll put that on my mannequin, make it look nice and list it and just see how it goes. My Judith March pieces are very, I don't know, some of them sell great and some of them sit forever and I mark them way, way down to sell them. So um, here is a Torrid shirt with hearts on it. It's a size three, three X. I have a three quarter length shirt. It's probably sell for 12 bucks. Uh, these are some new with tags, Ashley Stewart plus size jeans. It's got a $44 tag on it. And they're a size 20. Oh, they're um, jean shorts with distressing on them. What do we have here? Oh, this is the first item that I've ever picked up by Calia, which is Carrie Underwood's athletic brand. And it's just a little lilac, purple, long sleeve. It's so soft. Athletic shirt. So that'll be a learning experience for me as to how that sells. Let's see. American Eagle. These are a size 18, so a... Um, a nice bigger size. Oh, these are, no, look at that. Those are a 20. No American Eagle made 20. I think these will sell great. Um, distress, even on the back there. And uh, kind of a straight boyfriend, um, kind of slouchy look. So American Eagle jeans sell really well. And then the big, bigger size is even better. I think these will probably be a real good seller. And, um, Man, these weren't too big for me. I keep them. Oh, they're called the mom jean. Cool. I like those. I, I have no idea if this is real. Um, I sold a Chanel scarf once for a hundred bucks. Um, this one says Valentino. It was really cheap. I threw it in my basket. I'll do my research. Um, if it's fake, I'll just trash it. But, big ol' Valentino scarf, so put that in my research pile. It's a new with tags. Nike dry fit women's orange polo. And forgive me, I'm not showing it to you. I need to button it up a little bit. There you go. Oh, I'm gonna have to, hey, look at there. You saw that I'm in my pajama pants. I got half dressed for this video. I put my kids to bed, changed my shirt because I had kid drool on it, put on my pajama pants because who those kids wore me out today. Um, this is Maurice's. Again, I sell them all the time. They're a size zero short. And this is more of a boot, I think. But they were only marked four dollars in the first place, so a dollar twenty. This is an Eliza J dress, and it's a size eighteen women, so it's a plus size, and it's got the belt. Eliza J can do really well. This is sold at Nordstrom and Nordstrom Rack or is it just Nordstrom Rack? Not sure. We don't have a Nordstrom so we don't have Nordstrom Rack either. Isn't that pretty? It's a gorgeous dress. Um, it's got an issue here under the strap. It's on the underside of the strap. Um, I'll probably very carefully wash this on its own. Um, but I think somebody would still buy it. Um, it's got some marks on the other strap too. It's very mild and faint, but I need to try to treat that. That's a pretty dress. Oh, I love this. This is new with tags. Um, that's the brand. 
Love Tree, size large. Ruffle, chambray. Um, this is a shorts romper, which will be a pain in the booty to put on my mannequin. So we'll put her on a hanger and see if she looks presentable before we try with the mannequin. Okay, let me get this bag out of the way so we stop making that noise. This bag. I had to go to my car and find bags because they aren't giving you bags anymore. So I like dumped out some stuff from the Goodwill that I had in there. And, um, okay, these are Zara and they're a size four. These are pretty cool. Distressed jeans. Look at the bottom there. Those are cool. We have to figure out a good way to, uh, oh, that's got a, you know, big old fray there in the knee. Um, again, I, I hate putting bottoms on my mannequin, but I think it would help with these. Uh, or I could try to figure out how to do a good flat leg so that you can really see the detail on those. Okay, this is an Italian cashmere J. Crew cardigan. And it didn't seem to have any problems with it. I looked it over real good looking for holes because you know how cashmere is. Um, this is a size medium. I think, it, yeah, it's navy. It's like, is that navy or black? It's always, sometimes it's really hard to tell. This is navy. Okay, this is a standard James Purse chambray button up top. Um, a couple years ago, this thing would have brought me 50 bucks. But now, I think it'll bring me 25 or 30. This is an Athleta dress, and it's a long maxi dress. It's got a built-in bra with it. And, let's see. That built-in bra has seen better days. All the way around, it's, it must have been really tight on the person who had it, and so she wanted to loosen it up. So, that'll be fun to disclose. Might have passed that by if I had seen that, but, um, Anyway, I'll do what I can with it, and, oh good, I didn't pay much, very much for it. I was trying to look for a size for you guys, but I'm sure it's in there somewhere, but I won't take your time. It's kind of a straight, it's got pockets, maxi dress. Here's another Bowden piece. I actually have already listed this exact same shirt in a different size. This is an extra large. Ooh, that would be great for St. Patrick. Maybe I'll wear this to church tomorrow. Hmm, what would go good with this? I think I have like a denim skirt, the kind of high, I could pull it up to make it a high waist. Hmm, but my toes aren't done for sandals. <laughs> you guys watch me as I deliberate on what my outfit will be for church tomorrow. I usually just wear what's easy and looks decent and. <sighs> I can do quickly because I'm not so good at waking up early because I actually have to get dressed on Sundays. Not like, we don't have to be fancy or anything, but you know, not sweatpants like I wear most of the time. This is another J. Crew cardigan with a ruffle on it. Okay, in a minute here, I'm gonna have to like go over and drag a bunch of stuff over from the other side and I think I'm just gonna do it with the video running instead of turning it off and having to edit, which I have learned a little bit about editing and my husband has learned a lot about editing, so I need to get him to teach me. Anyway, this is a Holding Horses blouse, size four from Anthropology. It's got the pretty lace detail. That'll be a nice spring piece. So I was excited to find that. They only had that mark $6 in the first place. So, goodbye. Okay, excuse me for just a minute. Here comes the pile. Okay, here I am. Okay, this was, they gave it to me for free and so I decided not to pass them up because I asked about them and they said, oh, that's two right feet. These awesome boots, y'all. Oh, and they're the same size, but they're two right feet. 
they are um they were a brand that i recognized corral corral leather cowboy boots they're a women's size seven i think yeah i'm not sure what to do with them um you know, would somebody be willing for the sake of a photo shoot to wear a right boot on their left foot? Um, because they're kind of straight. <sighs> what, I mean, they gave them to me for free. What I'll probably do is put them in a yard sale and I'm going to be honest and tell them, hey, try them on, see if they're comfortable enough for you to wear um, and give them to somebody for cheap. But they were free. So. Or do I sell two single shoes? What do you guys think? I don't know. Probably wouldn't have paid anything for them, but since they said I could have them, so. all right, thanks. Um, this is an Ishakti dress, and it's a size six. I haven't found this before. I have found a lot of this brand in dresses for myself that I really like, and I've thought about ordering. Um, but that's a pretty kind of fit and flare. A maroon or wine merlot color short sleeve little poof sleeve there here's the same color and some pants by Ava and Viv and I'm gonna try these on they're new with tags they're from Target but they're new with tags and they're plus size um, so uh, they will sell for a little bit and this this color was really in this season I wish the season is almost over but I'm gonna try these on for myself first and if not if I don't like the way they look I will sell them okay this is a new with tags um, pair of American Eagle jeans and they are the high rise the vintage high rise straight which I have sold before more than twice and these are new with tags, so hooray. They're a size six, that's a great size. I got the distress, very in the moment. So, good pickup. I think I'm gonna make a pretty good little chunk on this haul. Um, this is a Hayden, Los Angeles. And I understand that yellow is one of the colors of the spring. I could probably wear this myself. I like it. I don't know, I think I have something kind of similar. And that is a size large. It's kind of almost like a bark cloth type material. I say that very loosely. I'm not good with my fabrics. Um, anyway, very pretty, fantastic condition. These are cool. Um, G, extra large, stretch, kind of a, a hunter green color or a army green legging. They're stretchy and they've got kind of the, this distress down the bottom, but they aren't holes that actually go all the way through. They're super skinny. And I wish to goodness I could wear stuff like this because I would be keeping these. But super skinny pants do not work for me. They're cute. I can't wear them. Um, so they'll get sold. And I think. I'll make, you know, again, 10 bucks in my pocket on those. After all said and done. So new with tags, American Eagle again. This is a velour, it's a size 18 long. Um, some velour pants. I don't think these are gonna sell until the fall or the winter, but I'm not gonna pass up new with tags, American Eagle. We're getting there guys. Okay, oh, this is cool. This is a Lyric Culture t-shirt. And it has the lyrics to what's going on on there, kind of built into here. Father, Father, we don't need to escalate. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I wish I could wear that one myself. Um, this is a Harry Potter shirt. I sold a Harry Potter shirt on Mercari once in a day. So I'll give it a try again. I'm trying to speed up, guys. 
Thank you so much for watching, really, seriously. This is a size large, we the free. And it's just a long sleeve top. Won't make a whole lot on that. It's hard to pass up for you people. Oh, this one's pretty. This is Ecote, and that is from Urban Outfitters, and this is a navy. Ooh, so pretty. Lace sleeve, sheer sleeve, tunic, kind of long, asymmetrical hem. It's so pretty. Um, did I already say? I already said, yeah. Oh, that's a small, but I don't, I think it would fit bigger than a small. Okay, we have some Madewell. Yay, Madewell. They only had these marked 12 bucks in the first place. So, cool. Um, black skinny jeans. Yes. I don't find a lot of Madewell. It's probably the fifth Madewell item that I've come across. Somewhere around there. This is a Diane Von Furstenberg dress, and it's uh, twelve percent silk. Well, no, the shell is twelve percent silk. The actual dress is a hundred percent silk. They had this marked at seven bucks. The more mature brands, I guess, that they actually accept, they just don't know them. Um, but it's a fitted bodycon dress in a dark, deep purple color. So, thank you for a two dollar. Or less uh, Diane Von Furstenberg dress. I will be happy to take that and sell it. This is a Nanette Lepore, and it's a size four. And it was only marked seven dollars in the first place. So I don't expect to make a whole lot on that. But um, look at that fabric. It's kind of um, purple with flecks of black in it. It's a thick, heavy duty fabric, and it's fully lined with this soft black fabric. It's very classy, good um, work dress. Oh, and look at the bottom. It's pleated in the back on the bottom. It's pretty. Man, this is quite a pile I have going here. Man, but look at all this stuff, guys. Oh, it's gonna take a while to list. Glad I have some girls to help me do that kind of thing. And I hate listing clothes. I sell a lot of clothes, but and I do list clothes, but that's why I have my helpers list clothes and I list all the hard goods and shoes because that's what I prefer to list. Um, this is another Bowden dress. And it's a size US 6 also, so probably came from the same person. It's kind of a, it's a navy blue and black. And close. Oh my goodness. We're going to be in an hour on this video. I hope YouTube will let me upload it. Okay, this is what I call a road tripping t-shirt. So you've got a map of the United States with uh, license plates from different states on it. And it's kind of cropped. And I would so wear this, but I don't like getting cropped stuff. Uh -uh. No, thank you. But cute. This is a, it's just from Rue 21 and it's new with tags. I don't know, I might just even get rid of the Rue 21 tag. It's extra small, but it's Minnie and Mickey. I mean, who doesn't want a Minnie and Mickey in their closet? And this was 90 cents. I mean, so if I sell it for eight bucks, cool. These are a new with tag Marlo. Marlo jeans, I'm not familiar, but they were, New with tags. They were only $6 in the first place and then 70% off of that. Blue jean shorts. It is the season. A bottom. Okay, let's see. This shirt is just kinda, it's not staying put. It's staying put like I would like for it to. It's a kind of a stretchy fabric. This is a Kate Spade dress, you guys. How much did Plato's Closet want for their Kate Spade dress? $14 and 70% off of that. Now, I will say, their 
are some very faint marks, which, wow, in that light, I've got a bright light hooked up to this. You can see really well. I'm going to treat it. I mean, it's on the white part. I think, I don't know, I might take it to a dry cleaner because it would be worth it. Because I mean, look at this beauty. This is a pricey, pricey piece at some point in time, you know? Um, and it's, it's long sleeves. It's not going to sell right now anyway. Uh, it's a size eight. And I think I'm going to take it to the dry cleaners and see what they can do with it. Um, I'm still going to list it. Oh, see, it's even got, yeah, it's got like a pen marker or something on there too, like a blue. Um, I'm still going to list it, you know, if it gets cleaned up or not. Um, because I think somebody who's good with, you know, bleach or, I mean, somebody could treat this and, and use it. So, I mean, five bucks, I guess, about what I pay for this. Even if it's flawed, uh, it's worth paying five bucks for a pretty Kate Spade dress like that. Let's see. This is an Eileen Fisher, Eileen Fisher woman. So it's a plus size Eileen Fisher. And somebody cut the size tag out, which stinks, but I think this looks like about a 2X. It's a little short. Um, it's got this ruffle short sleeve. They had another piece, Eileen Fisher, and they had it marked really cheap, um, but it was worn very, very thin. So I passed up on it. Um, they were only asking $5 for this in the first place. So, cost me $1.50. And usually the plus size Eileen Fisher sells pretty quickly. Okay, these are seven for all mankind. I do pass up seven for all mankind for the most part, but these were skinny. So I said, okay, I'll give you a try skinny seven for all mankind because I always come across the boot cut because when Seven all, for All Mankind was all the rage, so was boot cut. But these are skinny, so we'll give them a try. What do we have here? This is Alice and Olivia. I've never found Alice and Olivia before. This is a blouse, it's a size small, lined with sheer fabric on top. It'll look a whole lot better if I button it. Dag blast it, it's missing a button. But you know what, it's just a regular black button. So, because this is a good brand, I will bother to replace that button. Sheer sleeve, otherwise really nice condition. So, um, it's missing, yeah, yeah, just missing one button. So, we can take care of that easy enough. I mean, that's a very standard size button. I mean, if I have to, I can replace all the buttons so they all match. But I could probably find one that'll blend in just fine. So close, guys, so close. This is a Steve Madden Limited size large men's coat. Check it. Kind of a bomber motorcycle style. And it's in great condition. It's heavy duty. It's thick. Um, I don't know how many dudes look for Steve Madden, but I mean, it's nice. And it, uh, let's see. They only wanted $14 for it. So I paid $3.60. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take that. Thank you. We have here a Machino jeans, which I, again, I think is very good. Super lover. I, 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 don't, I don't really know. I'll have to look this up. But Machino, from what I can remember, that is a high-end designer. And last, we have these super cool. They're not super cool in my opinion. But I looked these up. Plugs. Plugs shoes. They had them marked eight dollars, so I paid seventy percent off of eight dollars. And these are comfort shoes, and they sell for quite a bit. I can't remember exactly how much the comps were, but they were good. So I love a good shoe. So that's it, guys. Whew. 
That was a lot. Thank you so much. Look, I am almost exactly an hour. So thanks for watching. And now, who am I kidding in the morning? Who am I kidding tomorrow afternoon? <laughs> I will take care of taking this big old pile down to my shop and sorting it so it can be listed. Thank you for watching. I hope that you will come back.